Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So on December the 19th, 2022, almost the shortest day of the year, I finally got my solar panel system and battery installed. So I initially inquired about this in uh, April 2022, received a formal quotation in June, tweaked it quite a few times as I, uh, I changed what I wanted for the system and then finally had it installed in uh, December 2022. I like to do a a lot of research on these things before I dive in so and I found a lot of useful videos on YouTube before I get my system installed so I wanted to document this and um, share my experiences with you and hopefully this will help you if you're starting out on this journey as well. In today's video I'm going to talk through the details of, of my system and how I chose the components that I did and uh, also discuss the cost and uh, the estimated payback which was very important to me so stay tuned for more. So the, the system I went for after a lot of research was the Give Energy a 9.5 kilowatt hour battery, Give Energy 5 kilowatt inverter and 16 Trina 395 watt uh, solar panels. So this made up overall system size of 6.32 kilowatt peak um, and I'm hoping this produces roughly around 5,000 kilowatt hours per year. Uh, I also looked at the Tesla power walls but I couldn't justify the extra cost at the time compared with the Give Energy. The Give Energy had good reviews so that was what I went with. The 9.5 kilowatt hour Give Energy battery also has a warranty of 10 years from the manufacturer and also unlimited cycles so you can charge and discharge it in theory as many times as you wanted. Uh, so a bit of detail about my house, it's a, it's a five bedroom um, east west facing detached house in the northeast of England. Very open, no shading front or back. Um, we've got some, some lovely views to the west so nothing overlooking us, plenty of scope for having a solar install on that side of the house. So some of my electric usage is in the morning and then most of it is in the evening. So we opted for six panels on the east side and 10 panels on the west just to split that. And then hopefully that will give us some power on the morning, although the battery kind of negates that need to have it at certain times of the day. And then mid afternoon and evening into the evening, we'll have plenty from the west facing panels as well. So our usage is, is really low. It's roughly five to six kilowatt hours a day or 2000 kilowatt hours per year. And I expect this to increase as time goes on, but I don't think that's bad for us three person household and I was initially quoted for a 10 panel system with just a 5.2 kilowatt hour battery. I wanted to future proof the home obviously there's more and more reliance on electricity for heating in our homes, uh, electric cars so I'm, I'm glad we did that and been able to make so much more use of the, uh, the bigger battery and the additional generation that the extra panels gives. So why did I install solar? There was a number of reasons really so the primary motivation was to have more independence from the grid you want to become less reliant on the grid and also protected from the price increases a bit and this seemed like a good way to do that flexibility of being able to use it from the grid when we went with off-peak tariffs that kind of thing is uh, is ideal play with the system when i want to to suit my energy requirements so i can use the battery when i need the power um, and not just when the sun shines so second reason i wanted this to be something that would be an investment and will give a payback i know there's um, varying views on this when i read about it some people think that payback doesn't really matter for me it did with electricity and gas prices as they are um, at the levels that they're at at the moment it seemed to bring the payback of, of the system right down to what seemed reasonable i think at the time of writing this video the, the price of electricity is 34 pence per kilowatt hour and gas is about 10 pence per kilowatt hour and that's due to go up again in april 2023 for me personally you make use the system to make as much money as possible when the export rates are higher on certain tariffs for example such as octopus agile and also with the saving sessions octopus have done recently i can use that to really maximize what it is that i'm getting from the system and there's also the, the green argument as well i want to do my bit for the environment i want to make a difference so this seemed like a, a really good way of doing that and lastly but also a very important factor for me was uh, there's so much new technology coming out around this space i, I work in it i love the new technology i'm always an early adopter and having solar and batteries lent itself well to to you know these technologies that come along such as electric cars heat pumps etc and um, i'm really loving what's happening in this space at the moment there's lots to look forward to so expect some more of this stuff on the channel in the future so how's it going so we're currently on the last day of february uh, 2023 and i haven't needed to draw any power from the grid um, apart from little spikes in the battery when it's, it's balancing the charge I haven't needed to draw any major power from the grid to fill the battery on the night or anything during the day since the 11th of February. So it's made a massive difference to our usage as a household. December wasn't great, but I'm seeing a massive difference now that the, the days are starting to get lighter. Um, and I'll do some future videos on, on how much the solar is generating. But yeah, at the moment, 
even in February, the end of February, solar is generating enough to fill the battery and, and power the house all day. So that's great. So what advice would I give to anyone looking to do this? I would say get at least three quotes and check both local and national suppliers. Check reviews and ratings. There's plenty of sites available, Trustpilot, that kind of thing that will give you good reviews on companies. Personally, I used a, a local company based in Middlesbrough called UCS Technologies. They were, were really good for me, a reasonably small local company, and I had no issues with them whatsoever. I would, I would highly recommend them. Some of the other advice that I'd read when I was looking into this was fill your roof with as many panels as you can. Obviously, there's a cost implication there, um, but I think one of the things that people who'd had this done seemed to regret was not filling the roof space with solar. I think that's something I'd like to do in future, um, particularly for the for the winter usage, is to add more panels on the west facing roof just to, to cover us a bit more throughout that winter period. So payback and costs, I've already touched on this, on the payback a little bit. It's very difficult to say there's so many potential factors in this, especially at the moment with the way the world is and with the uncertainty around prices. So I base my payback on, on roughly a 50-50 split of savings on bills and export throughout the year, especially in summer. Assuming we can we can get a higher rate on the likes of Octopus Agile, there's other new tariffs coming along all the time, particularly one at the moment called Flux that's just come out that gives it a decent export rate. And I calculate the system would take between six and seven years to pay back. There's so many variables with that, it could come down or could go up very quickly, depending on what happens with the price. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm continuing to track that two months in now. So what it cost me, it was, uh, was £11,000 near enough for everything. So that includes the, the battery, the inverter, the panels and the installation as well. I didn't think that was a bad price. I think because I got the quotation when I did, I think that helped to keep prices down. Getting that quotation again now, the price would be much higher due to mostly the supply chain issues and, and price increases in equipment over that time. I think the batteries increased quite significantly since uh, since I got them installed. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up for this first video. I hope that helps. Um, if you enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe to ensure you get more of my content when I, when I post it. Post an updates as time goes on and how the system is performing. As I mentioned, I'm also looking to get an EV at some point in the future, so there'll be no doubt some content around that. And if there's anything else you would like to see or know about my system, just drop a question in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.